Joining us virtually is Her Excellency Cicely Merced, Minister of Trade and Industries, Norway. Dear Maritime friends, I'm very happy to send you a greeting from Norway. A special warm greeting to you, Sanjam Gupta, for your determination and your tireless efforts to put gender equality on the agenda year after year. It is incredibly important. We must never stop fighting for women's rights. The gender gap in the maritime industry is striking, particularly amongst seafarers. Therefore, I'm happy to see that some progress have been made when it comes to the recruitment of women seafarers in India. However, we must continue to work to increase the proportion of women in the maritime sector in Norway, in India and in the rest of the world. There are many and complex factors that influence the level of gender equality in the maritime sector. Working environment, attitudes, harassment, adaption of equipment and working conditions, just to mention some. So, what is Norway doing on this field? This year we launched a gender equality strategy for the maritime sector. The strategy consists of four focus areas and requires close collaboration with the industry. The first area is recruitment and role models. We need to encourage more girls and young women to apply for maritime education programs and maritime professions. They can, can become good role models and ambassadors for the maritime industry. The second area is to have a working environment that benefits everyone, that the working place is seen as inclusive for both men and women. The third area is to have a working life free from harassment. That is everyone's responsibility. Managers, organizations, <coughs> educational institutions, you and me. We all have a duty to work uh, actively to prevent harassment. And the fourth area is to have an adapted uh, workplace. More flexible solutions for maternity and parental leave can, for example, help to get more women into the maritime industry. It can also be the physical organization of the workplace. I will follow up these areas with great commitment. However, the work on equality does not stop there. The Norwegian government will also take the initiative to sign a declaration of cooperation with the maritime industry to promote gender equality and inclusion. Dear all, gender equality is not only ethical rights, but also an important tool for meeting the green and digital transition in the maritime industry. We need the whole workforce to find solutions to the enormous challenges we are facing in the world today, not only half. In addition, we need collective determination and international partnership. So let's join, let's join forces, let's step up for gender equality, let's step up for women's rights, rights. Let us inspire and encourage diversity in everything we do and everything we say, every single day. With these words, I wish you the best for today's conference. Thank you so much for your attention.